The Haryanka dynasty, one of the earliest ruling dynasties of Magadha, came to power around 600 BCE. Prior to its rise, Magadha was a part of the Mahajanapadas, 16 powerful and vast kingdoms or republics of ancient India. The political landscape was fraught with tension and conflict, but amidst this chaos, a new power was taking shape. Enter Bimbisara, the first prominent king of the Haryanka dynasty. A shrewd and ambitious leader, Bimbisara ascended to the throne at a young age. He recognized the importance of alliances and embarked on a series of matrimonial ventures, marrying princesses from influential kingdoms. This not only strengthened his political position, but also significantly expanded his territories. Additionally, Bimbisara wasn't averse to conquests, using force when necessary to further extend his reign. With Bimbisara at the helm, the Haryanka dynasty began to flourish. This marked the dawn of a new era in the history of ancient India, an era that would leave an indelible mark on the annals of time. The Haryanka dynasty reached its zenith under the rule of King Ajatashatru. This king, whose name translates to unconquered enemy, was a visionary leader whose reign was marked by strategic military initiatives and an uncanny ability to recognize the potential of strategic locations. One of Ajatashatru's most significant achievements was the establishment of Pataliputra as a powerful political and cultural center. Today, we know this place as Patna, the capital city of Bihar in India. But back then, Pataliputra was a burgeoning city, strategically located at the confluence of major rivers. Recognizing its potential, Ajatashatru fortified the city, turning it into a stronghold that would later serve as the capital of many successive Indian dynasties. But Ajatashatru's legacy wasn't merely military, he was also a significant figure in the realm of spirituality. He played a crucial role in the first Buddhist council, a congregation of Buddha's disciples that took place shortly after Buddha's death. The council, which aimed to preserve the teachings of Buddha, was an important event in the history of Buddhism, and Ajatashatru, as its patron, played a significant part in its success. Following Ajatashatru, the Haryanka dynasty was led by a series of rulers, including his son, Udayan. Udayan continued his father's work, fortifying Pataliputra further and making it the principal administrative center of the kingdom. Under Udayan, Pataliputra's influence grew and it became a hub of trade and culture, attracting scholars, artists and traders from far and wide. The reign of Ajatashatru and his successors was not just about military might or strategic acumen. It was an era that saw the rise of a vibrant culture, the spread of Buddhism and the growth of a city that would become one of the most influential in ancient India. The Haryanka dynasty under Ajatashatru and his successors marked an era of significant political and cultural advancements. Like all great dynasties, the Haryanka dynasty too had to face its decline. The seeds of its fall were sown from within through a complex web of internal conflict and power struggle. The story goes that the last Haryanka emperor, Nagadasaka, was an infamous ruler known for his cruelty. His despotic reign led to widespread discontent among his subjects and even within his own court. The final blow to the dynasty came when Nagadasaka was overthrown by his own minister, Shishunaga, marking the beginning of a new era. Shishunaga was a popular figure, respected for his wisdom and leadership. His ascension to the throne was welcomed by the people, who hoped for a peaceful and prosperous reign under his rule. Thus, with the rise of the Shishunaga dynasty, the era of the Haryanka dynasty came to an end. But the lessons of the Haryanka dynasty's fall, particularly the dangers of internal conflict and unchecked power, continue to echo through the annals of history. The Haryanka dynasty, an important chapter in Indian history, left a lasting impact. Originating from the vibrant region of Magadha, the dynasty marked the dawn of a new era. Its rise to power laid the groundwork for a period of significant political and cultural advancements. 
Throughout its reign, the Haryanka dynasty played a substantial role in shaping the political landscape of ancient India. The rulers were known for their strategic governance, leading to a prosperous era. Their contributions to culture were equally impressive, fostering a golden age of arts and literature. It's also crucial to note the dynasty's profound influence on Buddhism. The rulers, particularly King Bimbisara and his son Ajatashatu, were instrumental in promoting and propagating Buddhism across the region. Yet, like all great empires, the Haryanka dynasty too experienced a decline. But its legacy lived on. Despite its eventual decline, the Haryanka dynasty's influence echoes through the annals of history, reminding us of a time when Magadha was a focal point of power and culture. हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कीजिए और साथ ही बेल आइकन दबाएं जिससे समय पर नोटिफिकेशन आपको मिलती रहे आपका एक लाइक हमें प्रोत्साहित करता है जिससे कि हम नई वीडियो बनाएं थैंक्स फॉर योर सपोर्ट